What happens when you put anti-submarine gun on a tank? Ladies and gentlemen, Chiha Shortgun. Premium medium tank BR of 1.3 belongs to the Japanese Tech 3. It can be purchased from Warbond Shop or with Golden Eagles. Why this tank is so popular? Probably because of its barrel that adds some cartoonish vibe to this tank. So this tank have a unique turret and cannon, but the hull we have is from the Chiha, which is another 1.3 medium Japanese tank. Almost every HE loaded large caliber tank have same gameplay in this game. Rather if it's KV2, FM43 or Chiha shotgun. Reason why people play with them is to challenge themselves with unique not so easy gameplay. To shell that this type of tanks fire have kilograms of explosive, huge amount of bullet drop, low penetration and long reloading time. Good thing about this heavy HE shells, they don't ricochet and if shot is made well, it's possible to destroy heaviest targets if you hit their critical areas, such as roof of the turret and hull or bottom of the tank. In real life there might be effective, but in this game a chi shell damage is quite random. Anyway, back to Chiha shotgun. It has 120mm cannon, only a chi shell is available. It has 31mm of pen and 2.5kg explosive mass. Penetration is not problematic because in this BR almost every target is light armor. Cannon has reload of 10 seconds with ace crew, two machine guns, one of them on top, scope with triple amount of zoom, minus 8 vertical guidance, extremely slow turret rotation and slow barrel lift speed. Because of the slow turret rotation, it almost feels like I'm playing a tank without a turret. Survivability wise, our thickest armor is 32mm turret face mask. Rest of the tank is covered with 25mm plates. Basic cannons at this VR have 70 millimeter of pen so don't trust your armor we have five crewmates but too bad three of them standing shoulder to shoulder so upon hit usually they're rose together leading toward destruction our top speed is 40 kph reverse speed is 5 kph cruising speed on grassy terrain is 34 kph overall mobility wise we're not the fastest or slowest so is this tank worth it if you're looking for japanese tech tree grind type 70 g or Chino will be a better choice. Tier 1 and 2 premium vehicles not recommended by me because you can pass those tiers with regular tanks fast as well. There's nothing unique about this vehicle, even if you want to experience high caliber HE gameplay, there is tanks like Horo, Jiro and Type 75 SPH that is located in regular tech tree. Because of velocity of this shell, sniping from far distance becomes challenging also, if you miss or not pan the enemy, because of long reloading time, you'll be destroyed. Chihai shotgun might have devastating ammo type, but even after the HE buff Gaijin made recently, there was moments like I couldn't frag light armored targets on direct hit, which shows that HE is far away from perfect. Uh, by the way, there is another problem with its barrel. From the enemy's perspective, the barrel tip looks extremely wide. So it's really easy to break this tank's barrel, even from the far distance. So performance wise, I'm giving this tank rank of below average. And it's only recommended if you have nothing else to buy and want to add this tank to your collection. And now, enjoy the gameplay.
There's one more. Oh god. There is so many of them, what the hell? Come on, you can do this. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I'm on fire, broken too. Oh my god. I'm gonna try to kill this M22. Five seconds, come on. Nope. <laughs> they don't know I'm here. They're passing me. Yeah, stay there, stay there, stay there. They think I'm dead. That's the most hilarious thing ever. Oh my fucking god. I can't believe you got away with that. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> it's that because of funny. the camera. <laughs> No, you cannot pen that. Oh, That's good. It. Target spotted. Target spotted. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> that is so satisfying. Absolutely. Let's do not get cocky. I can die super easily. There's already two players passing. I don't like this and I don't want to get side shattered as well. So I don't know what to do. Oh, son of a... Something is coming from there. Somebody there? Yep, there he is. Look at that. Don't, don't shoot at me. You made my driver red. That ain't good. Now he knows I'm here. And I feel like I'm being surrounded. I really want to leave this place, but I'm pretty much stuck here. Let's put a random RT on him. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh god. Thank god that was a kill. And someone tried to shot me from far distance. Yeah, he's still trying to kill me. Dude, if I get five kills, I'll be happy. Five kills. It's pretty decent with this thing. Now I said I don't want to push, but no. See, this is why I don't want to push. Oh my god, that was a tetrarch, not a mouse. What the hell is this? How we didn't pen him, Gaijin? What the hell? I got Gaijin again. Tetrarch. Toughest armor is 16 millimeters. And they said they buffed the pressure thing on the high explosive shells. Such a big lie, Gaijin. Such a big lie. Oh, someone is there. Show yourself. That was neat.
I think this guy is a bit more dangerous, so I'm gonna kill him. Oh! This is what I wanted to see, Gaijin. Jesus. Now I'm a bit relaxed. I can forget about that tetrarch. I don't know where I'm going, by the way. I guess we're gonna do a little retreat. I shouldn't have turned my turret. Now it's gonna take eternity until I'm gonna face frontally. Oh. Come on. Oh, that was so low. That was so low. Okay. He's not looking at me. Come on. Come on, shell. Go, shell. Beautiful. Beautiful. Finally, a chi acting like a chi. Oh, scheiße, behind me. Come on, turret, turn. What happened? Now it's hitboxes. Gaijin's hitboxes. Which is beautiful. Okay, next shot should kill him. Oh, come on. This vehicle, it's so hard to get kills. It forces you to be greedy. I think I'm gonna defend this valley here. You shall not pass. And you shall not cap. They're Captain Charlie. Advancing. No one will ask shot me. Who is there? Show yourself, demon. Let's go with first gear. Maybe it's gonna create a stabilization effect. Then first gear is so fast. As soon as he's gonna pop, I'm gonna bring him down. Come on. Yep. Gaijin again. It's a BT7, not IS7. What the hell is going on, Gaijin? Oh my god, he didn't pen me. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. Yes. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the damage is so random. And yeah, that's a beautiful victory. And end of the video. So thank you guys for watching. Tell me in the comment section what do you think about this tank. But I'm gonna see you next time. Peace out.